Hello everyone and welcome back to another a massy and a beautiful chess puzzle composed by the Hungarian chess puzzle composer Laszlo Lindner who was also an economist and also a journalist and he uh, devoted his life to chess puzzles, chess uh, problems and games. Uh, so this is an incredible puzzle, incredible chess and game study. It is white to move and win and can you see the best move in this position for white? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? White has a very strong move at this moment. Uh, if I give you a couple of seconds, can you guess the next move? Uh, it looks like the rook is under attack, so maybe you have to move the rook. Or maybe push the a pawn. But if pushing the a pawn, of course, bishop takes rook and the rook on a1 is defending on a7, a8. So the move is rook to b1. What a move, what a move, what a move. Deflecting to rook. I mean, uh, did you see this move? L well, let's take it back. And in this position, if you would say it, rook to e2, threatening checkmate, then simply black goes king to b8, and maybe king down and capturing the very important pawn. So rook to e2 was not the move. Rook to b1 was the move. And if you if you say it, rook to h2, actually we have bishop to c1 and rook to h1 king over king goes down and actually black has a pleasant position checking the king checking and you can see that black is fighting back interesting black is fighting back uh, this is not winning or anything for white uh, okay so the move was rook to b1 deflecting to rook and what else this move is forced and then a7 now how to defend Promotion. So checking the king, checking, and checking again. And what would you do in this position? The move is bishop to d1. And can you see the best try for black? That is rook to b8, of course. If capturing the bishop, by the way, in this position, then we have double threat, both attacking to rook and threatening to push the pawn and promoting the queen so black can't deal both of the threads at the same time so this is why bishop to d1 check uh, blocking blocking the check and then rook goes back defending and now if capturing the rook white is basically going to lose his best attacker the a7 pawn is the best attacker it is not the bishop right now and then king takes queen and that's actually not winning for white uh, in this position, can you see again the best move for white? What would you do in this position if I give you a few seconds? Uh, while you are thinking, let me drink a glass of water. Okay, uh, did you see the move? The move is f6. This is the move. And threatening to play bishop to g4 check. I mean, this move is winning on the spot. And threatening to take the pawn as well. So g takes on f6, but then bishop to g4 check. And black actually resigns. I mean, this is a puzzle. So this puzzle ends here because the possible continuation is very obvious. Blocking doesn't help much because we take. So check again. So king to d8. And then simply capturing the rook, deflecting the king, and promoting the queen with check, and this is all over. What do you think about this chess problem composition, this beautiful, fantastic piece of art chess endgame study by Laszlo Lindler? He was born in 1916, by the way, and he died in 2004, only for the records. The Hungarian chess problem composer. Uh, okay. Thanks again. I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.